did someone tell you to get some yoga blocks? But now you're like, what do I do with them? I'm gonna go through a bunch of fun things. Well, I think they're fun. Great things you can do using these blocks. A lot of hip opening stretches, but also using them for stability and some assistance as well. I'm gonna start with one block. I have just foam blocks. They're very, very light and they have some softness to them, but they're not mushy. So I'm gonna start with it down and have a seat right on top of it. Make sure your hips are planted right on it. And just start with the feet together, knees open. You can hold on to your ankles and just sit here, do some breath work, relax your shoulders. You can go into a forward fold and just get a deeper stretch into your hips. Just make sure that you're nice and planted right on top of it and you're evenly on it. You can also extend the legs out in front of you. If your hamstrings are tight, this is nice to lift you up a little bit more and to try to open up the hamstrings. You can go into a hamstring stretch or just roll down. And also releases through the back. If this is still a little bit too extreme, you can bend one knee and then just go down one leg at a time instead. All right, so while I'm down here, I'm gonna come around and lay on my back and place the block right underneath my hips. So I wanna make sure it's not on my low back, it's right where my sacrum is, it's nice and supportive. Again, a little bit of a deeper hip opener is now I'm gonna open my knees out like I was seated before. And this is a deeper hip opener, also opens up through the sacrum. And you can even rock a little side to side or just hold here and breathe into this stretch. Take a few deep breaths and just feel that release. Try not to force anything, just breathe. And then carefully assist the legs back up, especially if you're gonna hold that position longer. Now I can get a deeper hip flexor stretch with the block like this. I'm gonna slide my left leg out and hug my right knee in. Now I wanna watch, I'm not gonna pull my right knee so far that I start to lift my butt up or I hike my hips up. So I'm just gonna pull where I need and I'm gonna push down through the opposite leg to feel that opening. You can also open the leg out to the side and then feel a little bit of a deeper opening through the hip. Bring it back and you can find a hamstring stretch. And if we flex and point our foot, finding that nerve glide, nerve stretch down the back of that leg. And then make sure you gently bring your leg in and switch your legs. Now, if you need a deeper stretch, that wasn't enough for you. I'm gonna lift my hips up and flip my block on its next edge. And again, it's right across my sacrum. Make sure you feel that it's supportive enough. I'll do my opposite leg, so I'm gonna stretch now my right leg out, watching the back doesn't arch, so I'm just in a nice neutral position, and then gently hug my left knee in. Now you can also just keep that leg down if that's plenty for you, and then progress to pulling the leg up, and then opening the front of the right hip. We can do the same thing, open to the side, or extend up, do the hamstring, do the nerve glide, and then carefully bring it in. Now you can bend both knees and just hold here as well to start to assist in doing some modified back bends. If this is plenty, just hold here for a moment. If you need a more extreme lift, again, I have another edge, I can lift my hips up, I have to go up on my tippy toes, Again, we're right on that sacrum. And now this is a very big opener. I wouldn't do that other hip flexor stretch. I would just stay right here. Make sure you're not on your neck, you're on your shoulder blades, and just hold and breathe into this stretch. So again, be mindful of your low back. Make sure there's no compression here. Again, this is more of an extreme position. Only do it if you're ready. And then I'm going to and slowly lower back down. Now while I'm here, I can do some more bridge work and place the block right between my legs to make sure I'm staying lined up 
and I'm not moving my knees anywhere. And then we can do our bridge work this way. So we exhale and tuck, lift the hips up, pushing the arms down. Again, finding that opening into the front of the hip, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the block, and then rolling on down. Right? I'll do it one more time. Again, whatever feels good for your body. You can even just do some glute work and start doing some hip presses, right? Squeeze that block. If you want to get more butt work, we can extend the leg, right? Find that stability. That's what's great about this block. And roll back down. I'm going to grab onto this guy. Carefully come up to one side. All right. So I'm going to still just use one block when I come up to standing. So another great thing you can do with this is place it between your legs standing. So again, it helps keep that alignment, right? Hips, knees, ankles, if we want to work on our squats, right? Again, it's going to assist that my knees are tracking in the proper placement, right? Okay? So it's great to use, again, I'm squeezing into it, firing my inner thighs, I'm able to fire up my glutes, my quads, my hamstrings. So again, a great tool to work on our squats, okay? All right, so now, with the two of them, if you're really tightening your hamstrings, so doing a roll down, or anything like going into a down dog position, Again, I'm bringing the floor a little closer to me using these blocks. So as I'm here, I'm gonna go into my roll down and I have them here and I can rest my hands on them, right? So if I'm not quite at this tight, then I can flip them and go down a little more and just rest my hands on it and hold here. So if you're doing any stretches here, I can do one knee at a time, right? If you're not able to get the hands to the ground, okay? And then I'm going to bring it up and I can hold and then roll back up again. So bringing the floor closer to me is going to give me just a little bit more help, right? And then build up into getting a little bit closer to the floor. So coming down a very big hip opener using the block, I'm going to set it here to the side. I'm going to bring my right foot forward and I'm going to gently bring my hip and thigh on the block and extend the other leg back. So this is a deeper hip opener. What I like about this, it protects the knee because it's giving me that little lift and I can find that stretch all the way from the hip down into the underside of my leg into my hip flexor and it's just Feels good to me, it might be kind of intense though, but I feel like it's a great way to get a deeper stretch. Right? All right. One more fun thing we can do is again, I can set them right here, pull my shoulders back and find my plank. So again, bringing the floor to me, right? It's a little unstable, right? But it works, it brings the floor again closer to me. It's a great way to practice if you are doing your lunge stretches, right? And you have a hard time bringing your foot forward or bringing your foot back into a lunge stretch or going from a plank up to a down dog or up stretch position and bringing the foot forward. So great way, like I said, to bring the floor closer to you. So some fun little ways you can use these blocks. There is a lot more we can do with them, but I hope you are enjoying using the blocks. And if you have any questions, let me know and I will be sure to answer. Thanks.